Have you ever wondered why it's warm at the bottom of a mountain, but cold at the top? If warm air rises, then you should be able to wear shorts at the top of Mount Rainier, right? Well, it's not that simple. You see, warm air rises because it's less dense than cold air, similar to how oil sits on top of water. The molecules in cold air don't move much and stay together in comparison to the hyperactive warm air. As a warm air parcel rises and moves up the mountain, it loses pressure. The loss of pressure means the molecules within the parcel expand and move far away from each other. With less molecules per volume, the parcel can no longer retain its heat and cools down. This act is called adiabatic cooling. The term adiabatic means movement without the transfer of matter or heat to and from an outside source. Conversely to adiabatic cooling, air moving downward will naturally warm. If you want to see this in action, try letting out the air inside of a bike tire. Even if the tire has been in the heat, the air coming out will be cold due to the rapid decompression. 